Okay, well, welcome to Jack of All Trades. Uh, 2000 Hyundai Accent multi switch testing. We're going to show you how to remove the switch today. Um, this is the four door switch. There's a three door switch. It's a little different. You got rear operation of the rear wiper motor and washer on the same switch. So we'll show you the pin configuration and testing of that, even though I don't own that switch. It's a little different than this one. So let's get the switch out. We'll show you uh, the steps to take the switch out and put it back in and how to test it. Okay, step one you need to do is remove the uh, negative battery terminal. This would be, I believe, 10 millimeter. I just have a little cap from an old battery so it doesn't touch. There you go. That's the first step. Next step we need to do is go on the vehicle and, and remove the three screws and I'll show you that. Okay, first thing you want to do is put the key in the ignition, turn it to the on position to unlock the steering wheel. And what we're going to do is the access to the screws, this one right there. Okay. Come over here. One right there. Okay. Let's take a look at the, uh, and there should be one. Let me get out of the vehicle here. And there's one right there. Remove those three. And then, uh, this piece should just come right off. Okay, to make this easy, guys, this piece is all attached as one. Once you do the bolts, put your fingers in here into the hole behind, push out, and push in like this, and it'll separate right there. You just take a screwdriver and you work it out, just like that. And then the two pieces will come apart and it'll slide right out. Okay, so all you gotta do is just lift up here out and then down and that should just come around that piece there and lift out like this and then just just let it sit like that for now you could take it out of here just like that and put it aside and the top piece you can pull it up and now remove it just like that okay so there's your ignition switch and here is the uh, switch we're going to be working on called the multi-switch. Right here, connects to the switch. And you just, uh, should be a button right there. Push that button in. And then the connector should just come right out. Just like that. Okay. Let's take a look at this connector. That's what it looks like. There's the pins. I'll go back on the computer later and I'll show you what each of these pins is and how to read this connector properly. There's the wires that go into the pins. I see one, two, three, four, five, six wires because this is the four vehicle. There'll be an additional couple wires on the end here. Okay, my finger right now is on the connector that I disconnected. This is called the M32 connector. And we're going to take you through. Uh, each one of these uh, pins, talk about how to look at the connector, how to read it. Now if you look at the connector, this one right here is going to be one I'm pointing to, that's pin one. So you're looking at the connector like, like this, that's pin one. The uh, pin two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pins. Let's look at the color codes. Okay. Pin one, black wire. Pin two, 
black orange. Pin three, orange. Pin four, green. Pin five, yellow. And pin six is missing. Pin seven is, looks like blue. Peacock blue. So those are the ones that come out of the switch. So now I'm going to take you through each one. Pin one. See if we can see the camera again and show you the terminals. There you go. Pin one. That's the wiper ground. Pin two. Wiper high speed. Pin three. Wiper and washer power. Pin four. Wiper low speed. Pin five. Wiper parker. Parking. Pin six, which I don't have, is the rear wiper and washer power. Uh, pin seven, it's front washer switch. Pin eight, I don't have a pin eight. Pin eight would be on the two door. That would be rear wiper parking switch or wire. Pin nine. Rear washer and pin 10 rear wiper. Okay, guys, so the switch I'm, I'm put see that box there, I push in and this tab comes out like this and it just wobbles out just like that. That little tag, I push it in there and it slides right out. So, there you go, guys, there's the wiper switch. What we're going to do is we're going to see these pins down here, we're going to take those to the bench this switch and we're going to test it bench test it for continuity to make sure that the operation of the switch is working correctly